Now this is the complete web search. Uh, this is A to D, A to Z Smart Group. And this is complete website and virtual design development services. Here is, you have a book out. Um, and I, now these are jacked up Jamie uh, graphics. Um, you, and, and they probably are in your book, are they? Yes, they are. They are. The, the book is available on Amazon. And uh, I, I think we can stick a link in the video later if we want to do that. Not in the video, but in the, uh, well, we can put it. I'm not going to put it in the video because I, if people can't copy it from there, but I'll put it in the post, in right. the uh, YouTube post, uh, in the text in the U YouTube post. Um, yep. And yes, uh, these are these are all available in my book, just to give you a little sample of what you're going to get into in the book. And, yeah, well, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get up close to one. Um, the one with the van there on the on the bottom right is Evie's favorite cartoon out of all of them, I think. Well, let's see. It says you are now 500 miles away away from home, and it said. Uh, someone did grab the bag with the wheelchair charger, right? <laughs> yeah, see, there's a little joke there. That's one thing you got to remember when you're in a wheelchair. You got to make sure you've got power. Oh, uh, yeah, and a charger, yes. That's right. right. Yeah, and it's very easy to forget it. Um, it is. But it's, it's not easy to, to, to forget the time when you did forget it. Right. Uh, that's right. You will have it. You will. That will be burned into your memory. Now, well, let's see. since we're talking about that, that's a good point to make. You always make the comment that you like the virtual world because you can go anywhere in the virtual world, and you always know where the bathroom is. Yes, that's my. Well, uh, people don't know it, but uh, I, I'm uh, going on eighty-nine years old, uh, and uh, all eighty-nine-year-old men, if they're alive. Uh, I want to know where the bathroom is. I guarantee you. Well, um, it's a lot the same way for a guy in the wheelchair. This is what I like about uh, Web Worlds is that I could travel. Next week, I'm actually going to travel to where you are, but it takes a lot of hassle to 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 do that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to remember. But here in the web world, I can go lots of different places. I can go to galleries. I can go to music events. I can see comedians. And I don't mm -hmm. even have to go anywhere. Well, uh, yeah. Um, well, so you travel in, in uh, virtual worlds. And they are much easier to travel in. Let's have them go into this one that says calling all artists. Because this is one, uh, it's, I guess, about the art galleries. Is, is that right? That's right. Now, there's several art galleries here. Um, some of them, are, most of them are for particular artists uh, and have been set up by particular artists. And one thing we wanted to point out is um, you, if you have a place like a gallery in, um, the, in Web World, uh, you don't have to ask somebody else to put your, to put your stuff there. You don't need to have a uh, web, you don't need to have a webmaster uh, or, for that matter, to know how to do webmaster kinds of things. Uh, you don't, Most people don't want to learn how to figure out how to do webmaster kinds of things. HTML is, well, probably not terribly difficult, but it's certainly not familiar to most people. Uh, and, it's, of course, that's the language you, you have to write if you're going to write a web page. Uh, but um, what, what the arrangement here is, uh, if you have a world, you can put up a gallery and you can uh, populate it with your art, uh, which you can bring in in the form of JPEGs, uh, the, that's images uh, that you can take with your computer, with your, um, well, actually you can take it in pretty much with anything, but I guess you would mostly take it with your cell phone. Um, and you, I don't know how to handle all, all, all the cell, phone, cell phones, but um, my recollection is when I took some pictures with a cell phone, it was fairly easy to move them over to my computer. Yeah, and the, the, the neat thing about the gallery is we just recently got the ability to build, uh, build a web worlds for the end user 
in here, which that seems daunting like you were talking about it. You don't want to, that seems like a lot to do. But now we have template buildings available. And one of the buildings that are available is the art gallery. So say you want to put up an art gallery, all you have to do is grab that art gallery template building and most of the work is already done for you. Yeah, then, then, then there are little places where you can put up pictures. Um, and actually, you can not only put up the picture, you can also put up a blurb uh, describing it. Or I guess you could probably put a web link uh, to your web page we, that describes that. We can actually go to the template building if you would like to, to show them what we're talking about. Well, let's not do that right now. Let's wait because I see that we, I, I know we've got another room. Um, and I'm looking at here. Okay. So as the thing says, what can I, what can I do? Where can I go? Well, 2D, 2D traditional websites. Okay. That's hum, ho hum. 3D websites in the browser. That's what you can do. Uh, and, and you can do that easily. A virtual world on the grill. That's also that's really more attractive. It's got you can do a lot more things there, but it's a bit more complicated. So you don't necessarily you haven't necessarily decided whether you want to do that now, uh, yet. Uh, and let's see. Every, every artist I see gets two galleries, and a gallery can look like a whole building, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And we'll have considerable space in it. Okay. Well, the, let's 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 think about this. The reason you get two galleries is you get one here, and you also get one if you want one in the grid world that we've been talking about on OpenSim Live in Inspiration Island. All of the artists have a fully three D gallery available here and in the grid world. And here's an educational now the educational center. So this is another service. These are all uh, the, the primary characteristic of these things is they are all ways in which uh, uh, people can use uh, web worlds. Um, and the advantage of using web worlds is, like we said, we've been pointing out, uh, people can come right in and use them and visit with each other. Uh, and almost, well, as soon, all they have to do is arrange to be there at the same time. Um, and they can talk and um, they can look at things. Like as we're doing, uh, we are here and we are part of the advantage that we have is we know we're looking at the same thing. Uh, I've gone into the education thing and I expect you have too. Yes, I'm, I'm right behind you, boss. Yeah, I thought you were. Um, and uh, See, so we know I what am, we're talking right there. about, and we don't have to. We don't have to uh, send URLs or otherwise give location. If we we do it in the usual way that we have all been always been accustomed to, you know what I'm looking at because you know what my face is, what I'm facing. That's um, right. I, I see a 3D web world campus. We'll we'll visit all of these, but not not all of them at the same time. Well, we can't do them all at the same time. Um, there, there are so many places to visit that you could actually spend about five hours here in the web world. There's, oh, there, there's, yes, I would expect so. There's there's lots of different places to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, now this is, 